<laughs> well, hello there. Oh, geez. Sorry about that. I didn't realize I'm live. <laughs> I am live. Happy hour is on, and there's a few people there already, and I like that. All right, five thumbs up. How y'all doing? Who have I got? Let's start talking. Yeah, the place is a bit of a mess today. I'm struggling. Let's put it that way. How y'all doing? I got to start with anybody who saw the preview, who was looking for an unboxing, I've changed the title because it didn't show. From Canada's finest, it didn't make it here on time. Not their fault. Canada Post fault. Hi, Heidi, go, go. Heidi Ho. Heidi Ho. <laughs> How you doing, Jackie? Come on, tell you. And moon and sun. How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. And I thought I saw that friggin' guy from Hamilton. No matter what, we're going to have a fun morning. We're, we've got an hour or more of fun, and we'll figure it out. I'm trying to stay off my phone, guys. But I have certain things that I have to get done, so... I have to keep an eye on it. I hope you don't mind. Rusty from West Virginia. Somebody new. How you doing? Have we talked before? And welcome. Welcome. I hope you subscribe and hit the bell because you don't get notified about my stuff very often if you don't. For some reason, YouTube don't like me. And many like me. Don't like me and many like me. Okay, that doesn't work real well, but welcome, Rusty. Long-time listener, first-time caller. I like that. Like I'm running some sort of, of uh, podcast. Eh? Long-time listener, first-time caller. I've been meaning to ask you, how come your hair is so freaking long? No. <laughs> welcome, Rusty. I'm really glad you're a long-time listener, so you know the old hippie. And you know, we all got to have a tote together to start this off. I always wait a bit until I've got a few people here. We've got Rusty. We've got Moon and Sun. We've got Jackie. And I thought we had that freaking guy from Hamilton. And I hope we get quite a bit more because you know what? I, I really enjoy these. I had to actually do a little fan dangling to get to be able to do this today. See, I was planning all week. I had my camera coming. I had two deliveries from Canada's Finest coming. Roland Magic, hello. Where are you from? Where are you to? How you doing? Uh, and so I was trying to get it going, and then my boy is just really, really having fun being at my house. Because I've, I know it isn't me. It isn't the old hippie. It's his connection to a really good gaming computer and all his buddies. So I want him to enjoy it as much as he can. But once in a while, the old man, this guy, this guy, two thumbs up, needs some time to himself, especially. I am not doing a live show with him here. So I'm trying to get him to understand, you know what? At least give me my Friday mornings. You spend your Friday mornings with your mom. And then you can come over when this is all done. And you can spend every weekend this summer if you wish. Oh, really, Shaki? Really? I, I try to respect whatever language I'm speaking. Uh, the only ones I can really speak are French and Russian. You have to get the accent right or you're treating the language poorly. You know, it's just a matter of respect. So thank you for noticing that. Uh, je t'aime, Jackie. Je t'aime. I have tried to stay on top of my French all my life. 
and I've never done a really good job of it. But because of it, my young boy has got straight A's in French. My Russian boy has got straight A's in French. We should have a talk together. I know, Jackie, you won't join me, but Roland Magic, Rusty Moons, you guys probably will. And I don't think, well, maybe a friggin' guy from Hamilton is here. I don't know. This is all I have left <laughs> of my sativa. That's all I got left. That's it. Well, I shouldn't say that. I can make more. I still have some flour, some sativa flour, and I'll still make more because I have some of this every day. And you know what? Before I talk on this, friends, and thanks for the extra thumbs up. Before I talk on this, first of all, I hope you all hear well, and I hope the connection is good. Second of all, I'm... Uh, I don't remember the second of all. Oh, Pasha is a bright boy. He he really is. He speaks Russian. If if I said to you he speaks Russian fluently and he were sitting right over there, he'd yell, Dad, I'm not fluent. He can understand his grandparents absolutely and his mother absolutely fine. He just doesn't like speaking it himself. So, uh, except for when he goes to Europe, and then he has to speak it because all his friends there, and he's got friends there, all speak Russian, and they get along great. Right? It's really fun. So, let's have a little dab together. Cheers to all of you, Jackie. I know you won't have a dab with us, but you're there in four twenty Iron House horse i've talked to you before 420 iron fire horse how you doing welcome cheers you're smoking on ice age flower i've never heard of ice age it sounds good spirit that's the word oh for a word cheers everybody cheers 420 for coming first time i hope you subscribe hit the old thumbs up and don't forget to hit that bell because YouTube is crap at telling you when I'm live or when I'm doing anything else. And I've got some neat stuff coming. Cheers. Hmm. That was nice, and that helped. I know what I was going to say. I've been waking up every day and spending every day with a headache. Dodge 57. 57 Dodge. Man, I wish I could have a 57 Cuda, you know? Uh, I've been waking up every day for three or four months now with a headache. And it follows me throughout the day. And it's there right now. And it's because I'm pretty sure I thought it was my jaw, but I think it's my neck. I have spondylosis uh, with both of your accounts right on 420 Iron Horse, Iron Fire Horse. That's too much to say. I'm going to call you 420 and 57. How you doing? I hope you all enjoyed that. I needed that. Kind of sets my head a little bit clear. This light is a little bit hard on the old noggin. But what's coming? I want to tell you all what's coming. I... So give her the old thumbs up, because what's coming? Well, this was my old camera, Sony, A77. It's a beautiful camera. I've got many attachments for it. DSLR, mirrorless, beautiful uh, stuff, everything. Iron fire horse is easier to say. But coming very soon is my new videos will all be done on this. Here it is. I've been waiting forever for this. Here is the new Sony ZV-1 with its, see, with its blogger handle or selfie stick, whatever you want to call it. I call it, but I don't know what I call it. But you see that? And 
the beauty of this. Yeah, Roland, isn't it nice? Look, I turned it, I open it, it turns on. It has a fully articulated view, touch screen, and I can easily just turn this around. You see that? Now you see me. <laughs> And it's got the dead cat on there, so you don't hear the wind howling. And if you shut it off, that's how you shut it off. Beauty, beauty, beauty. I'm so happy about this. I need to figure out how I'm going to do a uh, video about it because I got to figure out where to put it, too. I have to figure out a video on it because I was going to do just the unboxing, which I recorded, and then my experience with it. But I have found early recordings to be difficult. I'm getting better. Oh, I, I'm going to put it to good use. Even today, I'm, I'm learning. This weekend, very likely, there will be an unboxing that was supposed to happen right now. This weekend, I'm very likely going. To, oops, sorry. Very likely going to take this outside, put it on my porch, and see. I'll have to. Uh, I'll get better at this, but it'll go like this, and I'll put it down, and I'll uh, I'll do an unboxing with this because it has a whole bunch of neat features that are meant for vloggers. So I've registered it, I've used it, I've gone out and done some, some initial recording and really had a lot of fun. Oh, it, it, it's worth the money. I, I mean, yeah, it was a lot. It was, with everything together, it was almost 1,300 Canadian. But a really good camera is usually around 2,000 Canadian. So it's a good price for the kind of camera it is. I'll, I'm working on that, Dodge. I'm working on that. It should light my joint, shouldn't it? And speaking of it, why don't I have one? I haven't had a joint with you guys in a long time. Should I? Speak below. I'm so happy you guys like it. I wanted to introduce it. I wanted to show it off. I am really having a lot of fun with it. It's got such neat features, but I, right now I'm in this overwhelmed feeling, this place in my head where oh, I've got this camera and I've got all these ideas and all these videos I want to make. And I've got my son and I've got, all the other stuff I got to do along, you know? So I think I'm going to have a joint of blue dream with y'all. These are what I usually have down at the, uh, down at the river, which I was there yesterday and it was up a little bit more. Oh, that, that's the thing, Moon. Yeah, I mean, I'm on, for two weeks with it coming, all I could do was watch reviews of people saying, I like this feature, I don't like that feature, blah, 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 blah. But no hands-on touching. And then when it showed up, I was just overwhelmed by all of its possibilities. Uh, so I had to try, but I just, oh, uh, the excitement. I, and yeah, I'm, I'm going to, Orange Tangy, yes, I'll light up, I'll light up, friends, we're going to, I've got to get ahead of whatever this freaking headache is, and yesterday I got ahead of it, all day long, I did really good, it was just kind of at the base, I always feel it right here, it was really bothering me last night, and it's been bothering me all morning, but that tote kind of helped. And I think that having this is going to help too. But 
I'm just excited. I'm all over the place. I want to learn more about my camera, but I've got things I need to do for my house, for my kid, for my future, all that stuff. So it's trying to fit it all in. Hmm. Third world problems, eh? First world problems, I should say. Angie, Angie, where you been? Where you been? Welcome back. I'm so happy to see you there. It's just about to light this. And I'm so glad you actually made it too. I've been looking for you. I've sent you an email. Uh, my latest Patreon. I'll put in the, I am putting the new hippie unplugged up probably later today or tomorrow. I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to talk about yet. I have some ideas. There's certainly no no glut of ideas for doing a political type video. Yes, Blue Dream is incredible for pain. That's why I like it. And legally, Blind Gamer, you're here. Yay. This is turning out to be a really good day. Thumb I wish I could thumbs up all of you for all the thumbs up I'm getting. I've tried to like this five times. This will be my first time having a joint of Blue Dream at home. I've been buying these in three joint, 20 bucks for three joints, and letting it last me four or five days. Legally Blind Gamer, welcome back. Thank you so much. So nice to see so many of you that haven't been here in a bit. I want to do this show every single Friday. I really do. I want this to be a normal thing. I'm going to have to sometimes switch it to a different day. And that's why you need to click that bell because you may not get an email saying, hey, Gord isn't going live this Friday. He's going live on Tuesday or something like that. And since we're not doing an unboxing, I'd really like to hear from y'all. What questions do you want answered? Ask me anything. AMA. Ask me anything. You'll hear some noise in the background. Oh, there's a question. Dodge. How's Pasha? You know what? That's a wonderful question, Dodge, because he is good. He's doing really good. He's happy. If you guys check out his YouTube channel, Pasha Birch. Pasha Birch. I'll type it just to make sure. He broke 100 subs this, this last week. He has a video from 11 months ago or a year ago that has gone kind of viral and has got uh, two and a half thousand views. He, he usually gets 20 or 30 views a video. He's so happy. Uh, he's having a tough go. You know, folks, I'd like to hear from all of you who have kids. Uh, how are they doing through this coronavirus? Because I've noticed a change in passion. He has a best friend, really wonderful guy. And uh, they used to fight a little bit, argue a bit. That's what friends do. But with this coronavirus, they haven't seen each other in three and a half months. So the only talking is either on headphones on, during a game or texting inside the game. And we all know that kind of textual conversation causes issues. And so they have had their troubles. So yes, Legally Blind Gamer, he is holding up well, but... Let me show you. This is worth showing. I have to go back a bit, so bear with me. Pasha did a drawing for school that they have asked him to submit to the local museum. I'm going to try to show it to you. 
the school said, please do a video, do a drawing of what did coronavirus mean to you? And this was his drawing. He is 11, going on 40. Uh, wonderful, wonderful boy, wonderful drawer. Tommy, how you doing? Grateful Days is here. So that drawing evoked emotion in me, but also in this teacher. And she said, please submit it to the local museum. And so I will. And you're right, it is a good age. It's Well, I tell you, 10 was a good age for him. He's a little advanced. He's 11, but he acts like he's 14. He's got that attitude. He's pushing the, the boundaries. And that's what a young man or woman is supposed to do when they start to realize they're, they're growing up. They need to push those boundaries. They need to push dad's buttons and see if they can make me break you. He's great. Sick Mick, you made it too. Yay. Yay. Hey, I'm trying to keep this lit. I've got Blue Dream. I'd like to know what you guys got. This is maybe my best day. Go live. I'm not even thinking about my headache. And I love that all of you talk amongst yourselves, too. Uh, and anybody who doesn't know, hey, Sick Mick and their, uh, Bart, are you there from Hamilton? Uh, both have YouTube channels. Check them out if you haven't already. Blue Dream is one of my favorite daytime smokes, too. I, I like a hybrid during the day. I like an indica at night. And very little sativa in the day. Uh, this this bit of rosin, sativa rosin, left over. <laughs> I've had it for two weeks. Thank you, Mick. Thank you. Pasha is an amazing young man. He's he's got a unique quality to him that I think is going to carry him through life, and that's why I'm trying to stay healthy. Because I'm old and I want to be there and watch him make something of himself. But that's not taken away from my other kids. I've got four kids and I love them all. They're all wonderful. One's listening right now, so i got to make sure I say the good stuff, you know? Gordy's in the background. He just woke up. Good morning, Gord. Good morning, Gord. Okay, there. <laughs> I like bringing him to y'all. Uh, Angie, Ange act, underscore activated, Ange activated, has challenged us to a video, but, oh, the new camera, Tommy, I did show it off. I'll show it off again in a minute here because I'm just so excited. It is a full, like it will do almost every kind of picture this will do. But it's absolutely tweaked and tweaked and tweaked for doing video, which no cam, not even camcorders have done. So it's kind of a camcorder next generation, you know. I've got to keep up on this. This is moving so fast. You got fruity pebbles, Tommy. Uh, Jack Hare, legally blind gamer. Oh, it's okay if you're not here as much. You you do you, I do me. That's the nice thing about this channel. It has ebbs and flows. Sometimes I'll get a a hundred views in a couple hours, sometimes a couple of weeks, and I can't get more than 30, you know? Well, I got to tell you, it, for a good camera, for a, a mid-camera price on a brand new camera, this is mid-camera price, this is a high-end deal. Tommy, though, uh, Sick Mick, those who didn't see it last time, uh, it comes 
let's first take it off the stick. Let's show it properly. I like showing this off. Here we go. Here is, with dead cat attached, the Sony ZV-1. It has an internal microphone right here. And the really good one, I'm surprised. All the features. And when you open that, it turns on. You saw that come out. It is not interchangeable, but it's got a beautiful grip right here. And it's got a huge amount of, of software, artificial intelligence in it. And then you put it on this wonderful stick, which is Bluetooth attached. So I can take start a, stop a video, take pictures, and it's got incredible f1.8 lens zeiss lens that is going to take some really wonderful shots the only thing this has on better than it is because this has two lenses it does this does a better zoom that's all i uh, i can zoom back and forth i can take photos i can change i have a program button and i can change a certain feature if I want to while I'm on the fly. It's got image stabilization. It's got facial recognition. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I got keep I get talking like that went out again. I get talking and then I forget to read. Yeah Tommy isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that gorgeous? And American money $875 with the stick. Canadian money, that's $1,250. But that stick's worth $200. Easy. It's not gimbal. I wish it were gimbal, but then it would be up in the seven eight hundreds. Oh, I like those video drones. Yeah, they, they've got that proximity software now that it can follow you around. It can be your blog, vlog camera and follow in front of you or follow behind you. Or you can do a whole lot of things. I've been looking at those too, Mick. One day, maybe next year. If I can build up, if I can get a few more Patreon supporters, this channel can improve. Because you got to remember, next year, next year, I, I know without a fact, next year I'll have a car. We'll start going into the mountains again. We'll see Mountain Hippie many, many times, at least once a week. Oh, Dodge, you left. Oh, darn it. I didn't see. Did I say goodbye in time? Sorry, I'm trying to stay up on this. Dodge, if I missed you, I hope you come back so that you can hear me say bye. And thank you for coming. Thank you so much, guys. You know what? This is totally getting rid of my headache. And y'all know I'm going to the river after this. Y'all know that. Hmm. Blue Dream has a nice... I, I like anything purple or blue or pink. Purple is coming. Oh, I wanted to tell y'all what's coming. What's coming to this channel? Well, sometime today or Monday, if it doesn't happen today, I get my delivery from Canada's Finest. And I'm going to have a couple ounces of Huckleberry Soda Purple, the most purple you ever seen. I've already reviewed it, but I will introduce it again. And I'm going to have some CBD pills, a bit of shatter, so pitter-patter. Oh, and I've got Huckleberry CBD coming. I'm doing a full review on it this time. I'm going to have enough to do a full review. And I believe he's doing a new harvest soon. Yeah, I don't ski. I, if I go into the mountains, Jackie, 
I, I go where most people don't go. And Pasha's really been wanting to do some camping. So I've got, I don't have a vehicle. I know that this time next year, I'm going to be able to finally afford a cheap ass vehicle because my bankruptcy will be over and I'll have crawled back out from this divorce. Well, you, Iron Horse, Iron Fire Horse, <laughs> you've been down the bow. Uh, Oh, I I love the bow. I love the bow. I go down there every single day. And every day I'm finding a new little place on that little St. Patrick's Island where I can find little things. I, I've heard tell that there's a beaver, but it's hard to find. So now I'm looking for it. <laughs> Come on, people. No talking about beaver that way. Although this is an adult channel. Yeah, Mick, uh, you know, like my dad. My dad had to move into the city. When, let me back it up. When my dad was 52, he retired. He spent three years rebuilding a great big bus, and then him and my mom took off and squatted on the... Uh, old campground way in the bush. And they lived for 25 years in the bush. And he would tell me that when he moved back to the city, the pavement hurt his feet. It hurts him to walk on perfectly manicured pedways. You know what I mean? Oh, mushroom hunting. You know, I haven't touched a mushroom since I was 30 years old. I'm talking the magic kind. I've been tempted. I've been tempted. Yeah, wheels again, Tommy. I, I wanted to do it this year. But I wasn't getting quite enough. And I've still got the big payment of my of my bankruptcy and that ends next year. So you hope 50, you hope so. Ha. Ah. Oh, they grow in your yards, but you leave them alone. You know what? I believe the animals enjoy them. And I believe it has stuff to do with the animals. I, I believe it does stuff to them. Just noticed a bit of dry old pot. See, that's another thing. I do that. You guys don't see that. It just goes really bright, blah, blah, blah. This camera, all I do is I set, the, set a different mode called product mode, and it will automatically notice that I'm bringing something closer to the camera, and it'll switch from tracking my eye to tracking the new piece. Thing I put ahead. It's a artificial intelligence kind of thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I imagine, you know, psilocybin to a cow, how would you even tell they're on it? <laughs> how would you tell? You wouldn't know. What, they're going to eat a little more? Fart more? Pretty high, guys. Pretty high. I'm quite enjoying this. I've got to stay up on this, so, so I'm sorry. I'll once in a while take a look. Animals like shrooms, you say? Hmm, that didn't matter. Oh, fermented apples. I know, yeah. <laughs> I I knew that because my my grandfather had a vineyard or looked after a vineyard all his life and uh, there were always drunk crows and uh, those you could tell they they'd get going on the fermented old grapes and then they'd just roll around with each other it was funny yeah 
Yeah, drunk turkey. I've seen a drunk turkey. Did a lot of farm life when I was younger. Well, I can't believe how many people we've had come and go to this show. So I want to thank you all because I'm going to end up missing one of you when, when we sign out in half an hour. So I, I want to say thank you. You're making my day and you're helping me pass this migraine and getting a break, even if it's an hour break or if it turns out to be a whole day break is just rusty. You're leaving. See you. Take care. I hope you're okay. Uh, where I didn't even know where you're from. Hope you give me the thumbs up. Hope you come back more and can stay longer. Hmm. Keeps going out because I talk too much. Oh, and uh, Sony is supposed to come out with a with software. Oh, turkeys! Yeah. Uh, they're, they're updating this offer on this because all the vloggers went back to Sony and said, we love this, but we want to be able to stream live from our camera. Uh, this would be such a much nicer thing than what I stream with now. You know, I can't. I can't get ahead of this migraine. I just can't get ahead of it. So I just try to forget about it by doing other things. I'm going to light this again. The drunk turkey. I keep looking at that and I can just imagine because I've seen it when I was young. What else does anybody want to talk about? I like that we've stayed away from politics today. It kind of goes to prove that to most of us across this whole wide countries and continents, most of us, accept and abide other opinions, are fine with it and understand that that's the way of life. I see it more and more. Most of us, what's politics in our life? 5%, 4%, 2%. How much time do we really spend on it? Not very much. Especially if we can learn to put these down. God's cheese. Exodus cheese and CBD God bud. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds good. I've got a really good CBD coming. Uh, I was hoping to show it to you all today. I have shown it once before. I have one nice big nug of it. Uh, Huckleberry CBD. Trev's been growing it for quite a while now and, and perfecting it. And this is likely the strain, the, the phenom or whatever they call it, of the strain that he's going to go with. And so he's sending me some to do a review for you all so that you can see what's coming. And it's 20% THC, 20% CBD. It's a hitter. It's a hitter with this really wonderful mild blanket on top of you that just holds you there and lets you enjoy it. Certainly a night one. So if I had opened it here with you, at least now I can do a pre-recorded video, and that video will be coming of me trying it out and opening it up. Yeah, really awesome. 20% CBD is hard to get in a plant while still maintaining high THC. Really difficult. Most one-to-ones are 7%. 9%, you might get a few that are around 12, but this is 20 and 20. And I haven't heard from my young son yet, but he does want to come over as soon as I'm finished doing my live because he wants to get back on his computer and play with his friends, and I get it. He misses his friends. Poor guy is growing up. At the time that he needs to 
learn, learn and stretch his social skills at 11 to 13 is a time when we're all closing in and not allowing that kind of expression. Tough time. You know, Tommy, I've said it before. I'd jump up stakes and go with you if I didn't have kids and if you invited me. I envy you. For those who don't know, Grateful Days here travels around the United States uh, in his RV and just travels. No, Of no fixed address, if I've said it right, Tommy. And uh, I envy you. I know sometimes it's probably lonely. Sometimes it's probably hard, but that's why we have friends. You know, I really, if I didn't get married again, I had planned that my age 55 and up, so I'm almost 60, would be I would have bought a camper van and just traveled. Just traveled. Now I think, eh, when Pasha gets a little older and just doesn't even want dad around, you know, always invited. Oh, I'd join you in a heartbeat if I could. If you'd travel around Canada, I'm not crossing no more borders, no more. I've done enough travel in my lifetime, but I love the country. I would love to move up to the mountains, maybe look after somebody's acreage, somebody's cabin, you know, and just pay them to stay there all year long. Maybe when Pasha's older, doing well, has his own car and can come and visit. You no, know, Tommy, I appreciate your friendship. I appreciate all your friendship. Sick Mick, Jackie, Moon and Sun, uh, Stampede Fireworks are tonight. They close, they Moon, did you say that right? There's fireworks tonight. The, there's no stampede. Canada's birthday, no fireworks, only a stupid augmented thing that you hold your phone up to the sky and you'll see fireworks on your phone. I mean, wow, really? Uh, does it say, is it around Center Street Bridge? So I could see it from my place up high. Fireworks. Well, we're going to make sure we go out. We have masks. I do have great people that follow me, Mick. I, I'm very, very lucky. And again, every time I say it, you guys follow Sick Mick. He's got a great channel, some wonderful, funny stuff, some, some good cannabis, some beautiful scenery, and always some good music. Thank you, Mick. Don't you make me cry. I'll get in there. Well, and that's, that's why I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad, Moon, that you told me this, because Pasha's coming over today, and I feel for him. He sits and he struggles to keep that friendship going and to find new ways of coordinating different games, and he creates his own games and tries to get them interested. He's doing quite a hard job, and I want to take him places. But most places we aren't allowed to go. So tonight, thank you, Moon. We're going and that'll give me something to film on this. I do look forward to that. Right on. Right on. I've got 128 gig storage. Uh, and to put that in perspective, usually one gigabyte is about 10 minutes. So I have 1,280 minutes that I could record. And I have three batteries. So who, who's going to fill up that card ever? But, you know, I, my, very first, my very first computer's hard drive 
would in today's world fit five pictures. No operating system, no nothing else, just five pictures, 40 meg. A, a regular picture is five megabyte now. And my whole hard drive was 40. Stampede fireworks on both opening day and closing day. Fireworks on Stampede grounds, but public not allowed. Watch from your front step at 11 p.m. Uh, I won't be able to see from my front step, but I'm going up on the hill. They can't stop me from congregating anywhere on any public hill, can they? Thank you for telling me this. Hey, fireworks tonight. Yeah, right. That sounded like he was really excited. Ah. Oh, Mick, your channel, it it's different from mine, but it's the same in the way that it isn't about just one thing. It's just following somebody's mind, you know? It's the way we share, Mick, and that's why we're brothers. I really, I do consider every one of you friends in very, very different ways. Oh, yeah, the computers we used to have. Our first computer at CP Rail took one whole floor of Windsor Station in Montreal, one whole floor, and all it could do was you could type in a rail car number and it would take about 15 minutes and it would come back with the location of that rail car because it was being fed those pieces of data by cards, punch cards, where you punched out the ones and the O's. I mean, yeah, we've come a long way. Wow, we're uh, 13 minutes away from me shutting this down and heading to the river and testing out my new camera. I, I don't know how much video of the testing I'm going to share because as I, as I test, I learn stuff. And so you got to try to break it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. In the, those very, very early computers, I, my first, my second PC, we had a, a a service called CompuServe. And you could dial into this service. And then you'd connect. And then at such a low baud rate, you would slowly get almost like a newspaper type article and, a, and maybe an image in front of you. But it would take 10 or 15 minutes, and then you'd read it, page down, wait another 10 or 15. We, I wish, thank you, Mick. I wish more people, if at all I have my druthers about this channel, it would be that it can bring people from both sides of the fences and we have people from both sides of the fences here today. And we all just get along. It isn't about politics all the time. And most people are that way. Most people don't give a damn about the politics. It's just, it's getting crammed down our throats everywhere we go. And we got our way of fighting back is shutting off. Is the only thing we can do. Oh, do, do, do. Huh, coffee. That's what I didn't have. I've done real good almost a whole hour without a bathroom break. That's 
It's probably because I forgot to drink my coffee. <laughs> you guys have really made my day. I really, I only got 10 minutes left here, and I really, really want to thank you. Uh, yeah, it is for the birds. Politics is just the, used to be the, the debate of intellectual minds. And both sides understood that the other side came from a position of, ge of genuineness. Their intentions were, all, were never questioned it was always understood that somebody who understands something differently from you has been raised differently from you, has had different experiences than you. And to them, what they see is reality. And to you, what you see is reality. And our realities will never, even to people who think the same, their realities don't mesh because they've had different experiences. It's our sunglasses. It's our paradigm. It's the way we see life, and every single one of us has a different prescription. So we can't see through the other person's glasses, not clearly. So we have to accept those differences and just be friends. Because what's the, what's the other option? It's either or. Be friends or be at war. There's only one option. Robert, Robert, how you doing? Don't say sorry. Uh, I appreciate the stop by. I appreciate the thumbs up and I'm glad you came by. Uh, I hope things are well. I know it's later in the day for you there. Uh, Oh, don't you don't you dislike when people pull down certain things? I actually did take one of my own videos down once uh, because it offended my daughter. And normally, if somebody's offended, I just yeah, okay, uh, your offense does not need action on my part. You take offense. People don't give offense. If you're meaning to give offense, you're an asshole. But most people aren't assholes. So I always say, if you've taken offense, think about that verb. You've taken it. It wasn't given to you. It wasn't directed at you. It wasn't gifted. It was taken from me. I wasn't trying to give offense. And we got to think about that. When we take offense, it's on us. Uh, and, you know, I take offense. I just keep my mouth shut about it because I don't expect anybody to ever have an action about my offense. And I don't want people to know everything that offends me because then they'd be sensitive around me. And then we're not real around each other. So, no, be real and hold your offense back and think, use it as a way to grow yourself. Wow, I'm getting very philosophical. That blue dream has taken me on a dream, my friends. I got to catch up on all this. Uh, squirrel, oh. New, how you doing? Thumbs up to you. And uh, wow, nice to see new people. Uh, tell me where you're from. What you're, I've seen your, your you must have just changed your name because I've seen your these icons are about that big, and I'm about that old, you know? <laughs> Robert, thank you. I'm glad you're sticking around for a bit. I, I enjoy having you here. And Edmund uh, Avila, I think I remember your name. I don't remember talking to you. Good morning. Good morning. We have only about 10 minutes left, uh, but I'll stick around for a bit. I'm that way with my sister, Sick Mick. She's very liberal. I'm center, center right. Uh, not that that matters a lot, but it does make a difference in our relationship. But we choose not to talk politics between her and I. Once in a while, she takes offense to something I say. But I remind her that she took it.
Yeah, I can barely see your icon when it's so small. It's got too much detail. That's why I face, well, I can't tell what yours is, sick Nick. I can't tell. It's just too small. My eyesight is not that good, and I'm not going to wear my glasses sitting at a computer. And that's probably part of my headache. Ah, the coffee's, the coffee's doing well. The coffee's doing really well. Just want to find out something. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Just usually I say good morning to them and we sit and have a brief discussion and then we get buried in our own things. Six o'clock in Northern Ireland. See, I, I can't say Ireland without putting on the fake accent. I'm sorry, Robert. Uh, See, I'm trying to catch up on everything that you guys are saying. I, I do my best. I do like this better on my PC so that I have a command center and I can read and even type back to you. Oh, okay. Okay, Mac. Cool. And you're a little north of Toronto, Iron Fire Horse. I was born in North York which is now part of Weston, which is, I believe, part of Greater Toronto. Uh, been everywhere in Canada, though. I've lived, I've lived in North York, Scriber, Sudbury, North Bay, Montreal, Vancouver, Kelowna, Edmonton, Calgary. Right on, Robert. You, you know, in today's world, we shouldn't... My world, you didn't have to say... You usually said something kind of rude and then said, no offense, man. And people knew that it was just a, a rib. And sometimes, you know, you had, the, you had some friends that would just rib too much. And you tell them that. There's some kind of phone call coming, so I'm checking. I'm screening it. Oh, guys. Um. Hang on. Hello? Yeah, can you, so, sorry, can you call me back in 15 minutes? Please, please, I'm, in, I'm really busy. Thank you, bye. Sony, there, that makes all that better. Angie, you're leaving. Nice to see you again. Email me. How you doing? I hope you're well. Thank you for coming. Thank you. We are near the end here. It is starting to be time to say goodbye. I just didn't want to end it that way. Uh, all that was, was I've been trying to register my stuff on Sony, and I couldn't seem to log in, and they're just having trouble with with that so he's going to call me back we're going to start saying goodbye to everybody here and i can tell by the already amount of thumbs up that i've gotten that this has been one of my better videos one of my better live shows and i'm glad i wish i had an unboxing to do for y'all uh yeah i've been I was smoking this blue dream. I'll have another puff with y'all. Okay, Robert, before we go, I'll have a little bit of, I wish I had some CBD, boy, I tell you, because I'm kind of high. But I'm going to have a little bit of sativa right here, uh, rosin. We're going to have one last toke goodbye, everybody. If you're staying, and then everybody say goodbye, and we'll start saying it, Robert. 
Cheers to you, man. You take care and have a good day with your daughter. Thanks for dropping by. Moon and sun, thank you, thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, Robert, thank you, thank you. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate that. I've been wondering if you'd make it to one soon. Uh, Jackie, Angie, Sick Mick. Oh, boy, so many, so many. I'm going to miss somebody. So, uh, yes, one, love. Peace and cheers. Love and harmony. And everyone say bye to each other. I'll hang on just a bit longer. I got to thank y'all. I got to thank y'all. If there's some way for me to send these thumbs up to you, they're coming to you right now. I've really enjoyed today. Jeki. Bienvenue. Bonne nuit. Bonne journée. Bonne journée. Bonne journée. And I think I'm going to start clicking the goodbye. I hope you all enjoyed it. I really did. Yeah. Peace, Robert. Peace.